Thank you, thank you. I've got something I've been working up which is going to require your participation. Um, so, uh, my son came back home recently with, um, with some homework he had to do on poetry. Um, he'd been given The Lady of Shalott by Alfred Lord Tennyson as a poem to read, understand and rewrite with his little group of friends from Sir Lancelot's perspective. And um, I, I just had to do the homework as well. I was so excited about what they were doing with the rhyme scheme. And I thought, oh, this, this, is, this is fun. So, that's what I did. I did my son's homework. He, he didn't take this to school. He didn't know at the time. But this is how it's going to work. When I make the following gesture, this gesture, I want all the dudes to say Lancelot in, in, like, in your most heroic voice. So let's, let's give it a whirl. Lancelot! That's that solid. One more time. Lancelot! Okay, I've got that more. Now, when I make this gesture out to the side, I want the ladies in the house to say Shalot. Shalot! One more time. Shalot! You can do it with more confidence, but the queen this is cool. Um, and when I make this gesture upwards, everyone in a celebratory kind of tone says Camelot. Oh, yeah. Okay, right, we're on the money with that one. Are we ready to roll? Have a look! Good, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> there was once a knight who liked to trot upon his fine horse quite a lot, and you would too if you had got a seat at the table of. <laughs> yes, the famous round table of. <laughs> working fast now. In fact, at. <laughs> was quite the big shot, and his name was Sir. <laughs> So Lance, 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 Lord, yeah, I live over there in Camelot. You may have heard of me. I'm quite a big shot around the round tables of Camelot. But there was still one spot where he had not had a little trot around, looking hot, and that was up river by Camelot. Just ask that long way to go, you're going to have to work. <laughs> it's a long story, it's an epic, okay? Maybe I'll have to cut it down a lot. Right. <laughs> so, one morning, Bolsa <laughs> sat Bolt up by it like a shot. Hold on one jot, why not go for a trot up past the island of? <laughs> Me thinks that I know it not. He polished his arm at every blot. He removed because, sir, uh, <laughs> was a famous knight of <laughs> and you cannot accept the slightest blot upon your armor if you're a big shot in <laughs> like <laughs> yeah we got it working sluggishly but it's there <laughs> so that bright morning he did trot up the river too <laughs> his horse pumped grimly as an ocelot through many a golden sunny spot trees dappled his armor of polka dots of light and dark but not a jot of worry cross sir <laughs> As he rode past the island of <laughs> singing beautifully with those great lungs he's got, he came within earshot of the fair maiden called the Lady of. <laughs> now the Lady of <laughs> Shalot yeah, was also hot, but because of the stupid curse she's got, unfortunately she just could not ever look out the window at Camelot. <laughs> now when she heard Sir. <laughs> in the mirror and quite forgot this curse or maybe she decided not to care anymore because he was so damn hot with money fame looks the lot he stood out like a lovely jackpot to the lady of <laughs> what possessed her god knows what but the curse fell upon the poor this sutted lady of <laughs> she went downstairs and there she got into a little waiting wooden yacht upon whose side she did just in neat letters the lady of <laughs> Okay, it was more of a boat than the yacht, but for Adam's sake, let's just say yacht. I think you'll find there's not a lot of words that help me end in hot. <laughs> Back to the story, you've got the lady of <laughs> that little boat, which we're calling yacht, floating downstream to... <laughs> by this time, sir, <laughs> I've seen nothing of interest in... 
So he had gone back trot, trot, trot to parade around him. The exact cause of her death is not in the plot, but that's not important. The general upshot is the lady was alive when she left. Uh, by the time the boat hit, the lady of most certainly was not. Now, the good people of crowded round the little yacht, reading the inscription, the lady of they'd heard the curse and cried a lot, those sweet gentle townsfolk of and then up rode Sir eager to see what this crowd had got. There was so much more interesting than watching him trot around the perimeter of Move aside, you peasant lot, said the tall, dark, handsome knight of who twisted his cold, dark curls in a knot round his little finger as he pushed through to squat at the prow of the little landed yacht that held the dead lady of like a sleeping tot in a wooden cot. But traumatised he was not. OMG, she's rather hot. <laughs> Observe the painfully superficial <laughs> And that's all he ever said about the lady of <laughs> He then just stood up and walked away. He had plenty of girls and <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>